Hello everyone, my name is Kip and, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I'm very much aware that I'm late to the party for this game. Um, but you know what, I don't care. I haven't played it, so I'm just going to go straight into it. Please enter your name. Um, Kip... Let's just do... Kip, Kip. Kip, Kip! Okay, anyway. Um... Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, a neighbour and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friends you, you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out, works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waking waiting up. But if she's going to taste me after like after me like this, I almost feel be feel better off running away. However, I just I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Uh, I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh you say that that you are thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Kip Kip. Pretty much. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have you don't have it in you to be mean if you really want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hey. -he. Oh God. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Kip Kip, have you decided to join the club yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not that's not true. You told me you would join the club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of the many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So he always likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a, a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me wor keep don't don't make me wor keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you try a little? Yeah, I, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Oh, God. <sighs> what have I got myself into? Why do I let myself get <laughs> lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess I see her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least in a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything in inside of her head. Oh, boy. The school day is as ordinary as ever, as it's been before I know, I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Yeah, I mean, that's why I, I need to say that, okay. So he always wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with, an, with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realise I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you... I can't see you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spaced out, so I came in. Honestly, you're, you're, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, they can come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah, meanie. Sayori is vice president, vice president of the This is the club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'll bring... I would bring in a new member. And Asuki made cupcakes and everything. Yeah. Don't make promises you can't keep. 
I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned this all out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. God damn it. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Makes sense. I dejectively follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, I don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Welcome to the list of the club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always seems nice, says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Kip Kip, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All worse escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Um, I'm going to take your word for it. I'm not going to make any comments on this particular video. What are you looking at? Nothing. If you want to say something, say it. So, sorry. Nasuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognise. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. So, what's that in anime? Like, 11? Well, I don't know. Please tell me in the comments. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Nasuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears completely more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Nasuki. Ah well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Kip Kip. Monica smiles sweetly. I fucking know about you. Um, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having a smile at me, so Jenny feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Kip Kip. We made room for you on, at the table, so you can sit next to me and Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. So sorry, I got a little too excited. And how I make some tea as well. Oh, I just made a fucking game about tea. The girls have a few desks of arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so there was one place. Sweet. So there's one space next to Monica and one space to Sayori. Nasuki and Yuri walked walk over to the corner of the room when Nasuki grabbed a wrapped tray and Yuri opened the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Nasuki lifted up the fold off the tray and revealed a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Adorable. The whiskers are drawn in with icing. I know pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. I have... Sorry, I'll skip over that. I had no idea they were good at baking, Nasuki. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So he grabs one. Well, grabs, grabs one first. Then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. So he already talks with her mouth full. Whoops, sorry. Can't go back. Uh, I turn the cup... I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Yasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Yasuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything? Yeah. I thought you said that he did. So he said. Well, maybe, but not for you, not for you, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I gave up on Suki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying the tea set. She carefully places the tea teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. I'm trying not to yawn here. You keep a whole t tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the tea sets gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not insulted. Look, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. 
well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least, but I, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri know, faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow. The smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Some something tells me I should tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so that's okay. Don't get embarrassed. Well, make well make, we'll yeah. we'll make sure you feel at home, okay? As president of the Lizard Club, it's it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could possibly be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Eh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but ar arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy me, and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling the, that dream. Monica is re really is a great leader. You really know it's in, in agreement. Then, I so now, hey. then I, I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are, are very interested in putting all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. Excuse me. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really gr grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone know. Oh, something that says everyone agreed. So it's different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're also they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Now I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Kip Kip, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, ah, uh, <laughs> hmm, out of game I don't really read at all, and yet I'm trying to make a book. Anyway, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Nasuka's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after y y seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing, amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so refreshed and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books that people... Mm. So I'm yawning badly. I always do this when I'm recording I don't know why I'm not even tired I think it's because I talk I'm not used to talking that a lot anyway but you know I like a lot of things stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of Im imagination and completely throw you for a loop anyway I've been reading a lot of horror lately uh, I, I read a horror book once what it was one page and it scared me to death. But somehow I came back alive. Anyway, I desperately grasp something I can relate at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have be having with a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I can't, and I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful in teaching the way you look at the world. If only heart for for a brief moment. moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nasuka's eyes dart over for me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like... <laughs> hmm. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? Sorry, I... I read that first and started laughing for God knows any reason. What? What gives you that idea? 
You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Aloud and Give It Back. Fine, fine. Yeah, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is as cute as you are. So you sat up behind the seat and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. <laughs> I'm not cute. Okay. This could be awkward, but never mind. Nasuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think it's impressive. Why don't you say them sometimes? Oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Nasuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you could share some of your work. You can set an example and help Nasuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. She's not going to. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We sit, all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Oh god. Nasuke and Yuri look quizzingly qu at Monica. Let's all go home. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share that them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now we have. Now, now that we have a new member, I think it, it will help us all get a little more com comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't it right, Kip Kip? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So you already may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have others to look clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, probably because you're in the room of four girls. Focus. There we go. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry. I thought. Hmm. Kip, kip. You all. I I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head of the system when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the Literature Club. And that's when you sold your soul to, f to get some... friends. You know where I was going with that. One by one, the girls' lights light up. Yes, I'm happy. So you already wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you know, you really did scare me for me a moment. If you really did come for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature, cl literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on the good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write in a poem to bring the next to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. Kip Kip, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my m m mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nusuke clean up their food. Hey, Kip Kip, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Suri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. So I might as well. Yay. With that, the two of us depart from the, cl the club room and make our way home. The whole day, the whole way, we, we mind wa my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls: Sayori, Nasuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. What will I really be happy spending every day after school in the little club? Perhaps I'll change. I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Maybe. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I'm and I guess that that starts with writing the poem tonight. Right, okay, so uh, let's do this and then we'll finish the video. Alright. Uh sound like a poem. Pick words you think your favourite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. So who do we go for? 
Okay, these... I um, don't know how old this character is. So, let's just see how we, how we go. And then we'll... I should really do a tally of jumps, but anyway. Um, let's just go for it. So, electricity. That's Yuri's. Inferno. Cry. Pain. Love. Misfortune. Graveyard. Pink. Ocean. Forgive. Disarray. Imagination. Color. Uh, adventure. Fluffy. Uncontrollable. Determination. Uh, alone. Memories. And death. Why is so Yuri deaf? I thought that was you. I thought that was Yuri. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here and then I'll probably carry on recording, but I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, If you enjoyed that video, let, let me know in the comments below. Like the, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll just carry on and see what happens after picking. I think the majority was Yuri, so anyway. Thank you for watching. I've been the Kippinator. Until next time, see you later.